biggest things and also Dave the time of day that it happened during the overnight when nobody was in this parking lot. But just really quickly to the point about the lightning, that's typically something that we look for during tornado coverage, right? Are these thunderstorms that start to exhibit a lightning burst? That's a sign that a storm is intensifying. That was obviously the case last night. If you've never seen the aftermath of a tornado, I want to walk you through it right now. Check this out. This is the what's left of the Firestone Tire building. Half of the building destroyed, the other half on the left totally intact with cars still inside awaiting service. Imagine you're someone that left your car here for the overnight. You would never expect something like this to happen. And then on the right over here, piles of debris. They're cleaning up the remnants of the Bourbon Street sports bar. But just a little bit up here from it, a couple of storefronts away, the Mexican restaurant totally untouched. So these are all very characteristic things that we see in tornadoes is where one building or structure is heavily damaged or destroyed. And then just a couple of yards uh, away from that, we see no damage at all. We actually spoke to some folks here that were uh, that were here as the storm happened, and this is what they had to say. It looks like it probably had windows at this lobby. They blew, and then all that wind came in, the roof went up, and that outer wall just collapsed. We were very fortunate this didn't happen just a few hundred yards farther down because there are neighborhoods right behind this, uh, this shopping center. So guys, the scene out here just incredible as they continue to clean up what's uh, what's left of these businesses. But Len, Mia, I just want to tell you this. We spoke to a business owner here and he said that if this had happened in the middle of the day, this parking lot is typically full to the brim and it would have been a totally different story. So very grateful and very lucky that this damage is very confined to these businesses and it happened during the overnight hours. We are live here in the Katy area. We'll send it back inside to you.